There's one other really nitty pity, nitpicky little thing that really comes into play. Not so much with swords, but more so with the spear or with the Danish axe. Is that when you're attacking with it and you're showing an attack, you really need to have that foot, the targeting foot, on the ground before the weapon strike actually comes into play. Uh, at a couple of points, it looked like the thrust was still coming in. The thrust was still coming in as you were stepping. And in that com combination, you can't pull out of the shot. And it's more important with the long spear or with the Danish axe because if you have that foot on the ground before you ever make that attack, you stop, you can always pull out of the shot, you can pull back. But if your foot's in the air, because you're committed, you're done until that foot hits the ground. It's more important with the Danax here, because as I come through, that foot's on the ground, at any point in time I can arrest that motion. If I'm in motion before that hand hits, or that leg foot hits the ground, I can't pull that shot out. And I need to be able to arrest it at a moment's notice at any time. I can stop that shot anywhere. I have to. If, I'm, if it's in the air or I'm reversed, it's a lot of strain on the upper body, if at all possible to even stop it at that point.